Hi, my name is Tom KC. I just wanted to do a quick video for your business today. Um, it's only going to be a very short video. But anyway, what I basically want to do is I did a search for um, Honolulu carpet cleaners and I wanted to see how your business shows up against some of your competitors on you know the early first page or so of Google. So here it is. Um, and I see you up here, White Carpet Clinic, you know, White Carpet Clinic. And um, that's an obviously a paid ad. You know that you're paying Google uh, to do AdWords for you. And basically, you know that every time someone clicks on that link, you're going to get charged um, on a monthly basis. What I, so what I wanted to do is I didn't find you anywhere when I looked to search for you. I went all the way to page six, and I still didn't see you in any of the search results. So I wanted to just take a couple factors. I mean, there's several factors going to go into how Google rates um, companies in terms of where they list in the search results. But because I want to keep the video short to about four minutes, I'm just going to look at two factors. And I'm going to compare you against one other guy, Clean Pro over here. He shows up on that first page, but he shows up naturally because of what's going on behind the scenes with his website. So anyway, to start the uh, comparison, the first thing I'm going to talk about is something called citations. Now citations are nothing more than a, a listing in a directory site for your business. So for instance, if you have um, elocal.com here is down here, these are the destination directories. So if you have a lo lo listing in this guy, elocal.com, that's considered one citation. Now Google likes citations. If it um, sees lots of citations, it helps it you know, believe that your business is legitimate and therefore you should be show up in the search results higher than someone that doesn't have as many citations as you do. So let's look at you right here. Now look, you see you have 109 citations. That's really what that's really good actually. Clean Pro only has 103. So the citations is not something that you would need to worry about um, in terms of it. this is not impacting how poorly you're showing in the search results. If anything, it should be aiding you. But if we wanted to, it would be very easy to add to you to some more directories to bump that number up even higher. It doesn't take long. It's, it's less time consuming um, than just you know not doing anything basically. But anyway, that might help you. But I, I still think you're in pretty good shape from the citation standpoint. The second and last thing I wanted to mention though, and this is I think where you may be seeing an impact, this is something called backlinks. Um, and a backlink is a link from another website to your website. So for instance, if there was a carpetcleaningsolutions.com website and they had a link to hawaiicarpetclinic.com on their site, that's considered one backlink for you. Now Google likes backlinks like it likes citations, but it likes it even more. <laughs> Because it really, it really feels that the more people that are linking to that site really m makes that business legitimate and therefore it should rank higher than those that do not have that type of link going on. So anyway, this is a site that counts links for your website, whitecarpetclinic.com, and it's showing eight active backlinks. So let's see what Clean Pro does. All right, Clean Pro has got 19. So there is a difference there, but one thing to mention about backlinks is you, Google likes quality backlinks. In other words, they don't want links from spammy or scammy sites to your site. That's actually going to be a negative thing. So you wouldn't want to link from a gambling site or a porn site. That's not a good thing. Anyway, we could easily get 10 links for you um, from quality sites that would make a huge difference in terms of where you are showing up in the search results. Um, there's other factors that, that go into it as well. Like I said, I want to keep the video short, so I'm not going to talk about anything else right now. But last thing I'm going to mention is if you have any questions, any comments, um, there's a contact form on the website I sent you for the video. Please use that to get a hold of me or comment. And um, last but not least, I do not charge for consulting. So if you want to talk to me, if you want to get more information on you know the factors that may be holding you back on the search results and, and making you stay on AdWords where if we can if we could actually get some of these things corrected you could show up where you want to show up and you could drop the AdWords account and we're not to pay Google anymore. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Um, have a great rest of the day. Thanks.